It was a sobering letter for help by Commanding Officer Captain Brett Crozier that highlighted the carrier Roosevelt's plight. Crozier urging the evacuation of the ship, saying while they are willing to take certain risks in combat, quote, we are not at war and therefore cannot allow a single sailor to perish as a result of this pandemic unnecessarily. U.S. Pacific Fleet Commander Admiral John Aquilino held a news briefing in response. I think his disagreement is, or his concern is associated with the pace that we get sailors off, not that we're not going to get sailors off. Uh, I just want to be very clear that uh, we will have to leave sailors, some number of sailors, on that ship as we go through testing, quarantine, and isolation. Captain Crozier warned that the onboard environment itself was conducive to the spread of the virus. And so Admiral Aquilino says they've devised a flow plan for systematic evacuation. That rotational process to take them off, uh, ensure they're isolated and quarantined, through 14 days restricted movement, a follow-on test, that is the best way, and as I understand it, the most accurate way to validate that a sailor does not have the disease. The plan includes moving sailors with negative tests to quarantine at Tumon hotels. We're utilizing those assets that we have uh, while at the same time we are uh, working towards providing uh, better capability, uh, specifically working through the governor of Guam uh, to potentially identify some hotels that could meet the need. The Navy has yet to confirm how many sailors have tested positive, though Admiral Aquilino says none have been hospitalized. He also mentioned several times during the briefing that the ship would keep on board enough personnel to remain operational and also repeated a word of caution, apparently aimed at any would-be aggressors against the U.S., that this warship will be ready. If that ship needed to respond to crisis today, we would respond. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.